I'm Joshua Clinton. Drywall with two or three coats. Now a lot of people don't like doing drywall because it takes so long and so much sanding to have a finished product that looks decent. I'm going to talk to you about how to do this in just three coats so you don't have a lot of sanding to do. For this job I'm going to be using a 12 inch trowel, drywall mud, and a drywall tray. The first coat is really easy. All you're doing is bedding that tape in there so that way it doesn't fall off and gives you a little bit of starting point across all your seams. Now the second step is where most people mess up. They try to do all of it with a bunch of mud to try to hurry up and get it done. Well, it doesn't work that way. You gotta make sure that you get a decent amount of mud on there, but you're also gonna be taking a lot of mud off. So we'll get our tray, make sure our mud is nice and wet, doesn't have any dry parts in it. Then we're gonna get a decent amount on our trowel. Go ahead and put it across our joint. So after it's on there, we're gonna take our trowel, set it at about a 45 degree angle from the wall, press firmly and drag it across. What you're doing here is you're filling in the bevels that the factory has made for the drywall. You don't want to go past it any and you don't want to stay down in here to where there isn't any mud. You want to make sure it's all covered across that bevel. So after that dries, we're going to take our drywall mud, get quite a bit on there. We're going to go up above our seam a little bit and work our way down. As you can see, we're about two or three inches above our seam on both sides. So we want to do that all the way across our seam. So after you have it covered across your entire seam, we're going to take our trowel, put it above the top of our mud. We're going to hold it at about a 45 to a 40 degree angle across our drywall. And we're going to hold the bottom part out away from our drywall just a little bit more. Then the top part, we want to push the top part in there and bend our trowel and run it across there. Now what we're doing here is we're taking this seam and we're blending it in with the rest of the wall. So when you look down there, you shouldn't notice a big difference. Now on the bottom, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to push in a little bit harder with the bottom side and let the top flare out. So when you get done, you should have just a little streak across the middle that you'll go through there with your sander and just sand that little bit off so that way you have a nice clean joint. Don't be afraid to put a lot of mud on there because you're going to be taking most of it off. It's always better to have a little bit too much mud on there than not enough because those seams that don't have enough you're going to spend a lot more time on. Your mud's going to start drying and it's just going to end up being a mess. Thank you all for watching and best of luck on this project.